Hi, thanks for joining me again. So for this demonstration, uh, I'm using a low battery. We see here the the cursor, the top cursor is blinking. This indicates the battery is low. So we navigate to uh, the battery level reading mode, and we uh, we validate that yeah, the battery is indeed low. It's at the one notch before zero, so it's pretty low. Time to change it. If you were to uh, to wait until it dies, the only thing it does is that the watch doesn't light anymore. Pretty simple to troubleshoot, but this uh, this blinking feature of the top cursor tells you uh, you can prevent that and just change the battery in advance if you want, or just know that you will need to change the battery soon. So using the Allen key, I'm undoing the the side screws. There's two of them, and uh, on uh, on each screw, there's a little washer. Uh, it's a good practice to make sure that this washer is still there. Uh, this uh, this prevent water from entering the watch. If I open the side door now, we see the battery inside. Trying to focus. Sorry about that. Focus, focus, focus. So on the side we see two O-rings here and one on the door. So again, it's a good practice to make sure that these O-rings seals are remain in place. If I remove the old battery, I can put back a new one here. Yep, minus sign on the outside. And screw the battery's door back. The watch will turn on. First, I don't screw uh, too hard. I'll show you how to make sure that the proper the proper pressure is put on the door. So we just screw with minimum force, and then we tight the screw, looking at the gap between the door and the case. And we see there's a little gap now. And if I screw harder, the the gap will slowly go away, and we stop when it matches the the casing. We certainly don't want to screw too hard. That would break the uh, the metal insert inside the watch for the screws. So this is it. This is how you change a battery.